The views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors. With so many people living longer, the fear of outliving your money becomes a reality for many of us. Will I be a financial burden? Will I outlive my money? How will I be remembered? My name is Neil Himmelstein, president of Main Street Planning Group. Please contact me by visiting MainStreetPlanningGroup.com. That's MainStreetPlanningGroup.com or call 631-647-4694. I will introduce you to strategies that will guarantee you will not outlive your money, that can guarantee you will not be a burden on your loved ones. Through a collaborative approach, we will uncover solutions that offer tax-efficient strategies, lifetime income, and legacy planning. Choice, organization, direction, and education. That is the code we stand behind. Contact MainStreetPlanningGroup.com that's MainStreetPlanningGroup.com or call 631-647-4694. And listen to me every Friday at 3 p.m. as I host the Main Street Code for Financial Success right here on 103.9 LI News Radio. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Main Street Code for Financial Success. I'm your host, Neil Himmelstein. And if you want to reach me, I'm at 631 647 4694. That's 631 647 4694. Or you can always find me on the web at themainstreetcode.com. I welcome any questions you have or any thoughts you have about what's going on with your insurance and the market. And uh, our code stands for choice, organization, direction, and education. And we help thousands of attorneys and accountants other insurance agents and consumers with their questions regarding about their insurance matters and that's where we specialize. Uh, We also specialize in talking about fixed annuity products which is an insurance product. People don't understand that's an insurance product is an annuity. Life insurance, long-term care and disability and a lot of you are are concerned and may be concerned, and we've gotten a lot of calls in the last couple of weeks with people concerned about the market. Uh, the market has dipped like 20 points, and and it's not just inflation, but the rising of interest rates and inflation is both a curse and an opportunity. And the the opportunity is that if you're in the market and you're a little concerned, you should be. Uh, we have fixed products that are now paying as high as 4 to 5%. You know, a month or two ago, we were talking about 3%. Now we're talking 4 to 5% in fixed annuities that grow tax-deferred. So unlike a CD, you don't pay tax on them every year. So that money just grows for your protection. And you shouldn't have to worry about the market. But what I'm finding is I have people and some very successful people have called me recently and I said, let me take a look at your portfolio. They're concerned. And the first question I ask anybody is, have you, you know, your investment advisor, have they done a risk profile on you? And they look at me like three head, what do you mean a risk profile? Has anyone sat down and gone over what your goals are and your risk tolerance for this market. And yeah, maybe five years ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago, they went over it. But you're sitting with a portfolio now that may or may not be appropriate. Your life has changed quite a bit. The market certainly has changed. Things have changed. Why haven't you changed? Well, here's what happens, okay? You could have the best doctors in the world. But if you don't go for an annual checkup, if you don't go every six months, you could come down with some weird disease or whatever. And yeah, but I have the best doctors in the world. But why am I sick? Because you don't visit your doctor. You don't review your symptoms. And now you're in a desperate situation where maybe you're maybe it's life threatening or or sustained because you haven't gone to the doctor. Well, your investments and your portfolio and your insurance is, is the same thing. You need regular follow through on a regular basis. And I have to say one other thing: if during the last few years, this COVID and all this craziness, and you were in the house, if somebody didn't call and check up on you, that's managing your money. Get rid of that person. 
because you need to work with people who care about you. But at the end of the day, just a, hey, how you doing? Phone call every, every three months is what somebody should be doing. But at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to go for your checkups. And if that person or people working with you in your portfolio, your accountant or your insurance advisor is not following up with you or you're not checking up on what you have, shame on you, okay? Because at the end of the day, I have some very wealthy clients who've reached out to me recently who I only handle their insurance, but they're saying, wait a minute, I have one, I have no income. I have all these assets, but no income. Because their investment advisor, quite candidly, didn't have a guaranteed income part of their portfolio. So it's great they're sitting with $3 million and a a house they just paid for in cash. But where's the income? Well, I just lost 20% in the market. What do I do now? Well, really, let me take a look at your portfolio because guess what? I go, what stocks do you have? I don't know what I have. I just rely on them. Well, that's a problem. We had another client this week doing very well. They're getting ready to retire. Uh, Their husband just retired. They're on disability. And everything's paid for. They're doing great. I said, let me take a look at your statements. And they couldn't find them right away, his statements. I go, when did you last look at these? Well, we have a guy, but I don't like him. Why don't you like him? What what don't you like? Well, he just, you know, I haven't seen him in a couple years. I don't know what I got. I said, you really need to sit down. And I took him to a financial advisor locally. He had, had a radio show here. And he sat down and said, let's look at what you have. Let's do step one, basics. Let's do a risk portfolio. What is that? A risk portfolio is when they're going to ask you questions. How do you feel about the market? Do you, are you, what are your expectations? Are you expecting to go up 10%? Can you take, can you afford for that market to go down 20%? Can you afford to take this kind of hit? And if no one's asked you that question and all of a sudden you're down 20%, what are you doing? You're sitting there going, I'll tell you what your financial advisor is doing when you call them, what the stockbroker said to this woman. I'll tell you exactly what they said. Oh, we're in it for the long haul. You stay in there and you hang in there. Well, God darn it. She doesn't have an income. She's got all these assets. It's down 20%. How's she going to live the next 20 years? What's going to go happen? They're not doing a risk profile. She was not prepared to take these losses. So she's tentatively like hanging in there, hanging in there, watching it go down. Well, it's very hard to go down. You know, it's great when the market's rising. Everybody's happy. Nobody's looking at anything. Oh, I'm up 20%. Oh, I'm up 10%. Oh, the market's, everything's wonderful. All of a sudden you got a downturn and where are you? What do you have in a fixed portion of your portfolio? What's guaranteed, whether it be an income stream which I think everyone should have an income stream, whether it's your pension, whether it's social security, whether whether it's an annuity that's paying you for the rest of your life. All of these are income streams. All of these are to pay your bills. The stock market's for everything else. You need to pay your bills first, worry about your investment second, but then you need to have an investment portfolio that has balance to it. It's called portfolio. We talk about portfolio rebalancing. What does that mean, portfolio rebalancing? I know these are basic investment things, and you listen to investment shows. They don't talk enough about portfolio rebalancing. What is that? So when you do a good excuse me, risk profile, you're going to attribute so much to growth, so much to balance, so much to income. You're going to balance out your portfolio. But every quarter, you need a rebalancing. Because all of a sudden, one stock or one particular market segment is going to go bonkers. It's going to go crazy. The other three are going to go bad. But then what happens after a quarter? All of a sudden, that one goes down and some of the other ones come up. But if you're overly weighted in one area and you haven't rebalanced your portfolio, you're you're headed for disaster. You know, I remember my dad asking me years ago, 
I mean, we're talking 20, 30 years ago when, when the Polaroids first came out. And before they bought Polaroid, uh, he says, I got all this Kodak stock. Oh, what a great company. I go, why is the market, why, why is it going down? I wasn't even an investment advisor at the time. He goes, why is it going down, Neil? What's wrong? This is a great company. Well, Dad, where do they make their money? I said, they make their money by making paper, okay, and making film, and everything is going digital, Dad. They're not using film anymore. Well, he, he had no idea. He was like, well, jeez, that makes a lot of sense. I didn't even know squat when he asked me this question. I said, it just made sense to me. But he's not keeping up to date, but he's holding on to his Kodak stock forever. You're listening to the Main Street Code for Financial Success. Again, I can be reached at 631-647-4694. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody, to the Main Street Code for Financial Success. I hope you're having a lovely Friday here, a uh, beautiful day here on Long Island. Uh, I feel really, really upset about what's going on in Florida and uh, hurricanes and, and things happen and, th- and, and life is like that. You know, one day you're sitting on that porch in sunny Florida drinking your coffee, saying what a beautiful day, and the next day your house is gone. Well, the market's like that as well. And, uh, you know, the market has just dipped about 20 points this year. And people are sitting there going, well, what happened? It's like they're on the... And then they call their broker. It's like they're on the Titanic. You're you're in the Titanic and it's down 20 points. And most brokers are going to say, just stay the course, stay the course. Well, you know, my clients are upset that are staying the course because they're freaking out. Because they, the ones that have fixed annuities or guaranteed income they don't call me they know they have a guaranteed guaranteed interest rate of four percent i don't have to think about it i did get a call the other day from a client we did some annuity work with earlier this year and they called me and they said have i lost any money i go no that's why i love talking to you <laughs> i don't have any problem picking up the call because none of my clients lose money everything's in fixed interest or fixed income and the income rates that we can offer today by buying an immediate annuity by buying an annuity with a payment stream are higher than the pensions are offering even when you're about to retire they're going to offer you income streams have us take a look at it we're offering income streams higher than your company plan can pay you today because of the high interest rate environment it's an anomaly. It hasn't happened for me in 25 years, but I'm looking at a lot of pensions right now. People looking to retire and they're offered these pension payouts, which is really an annuity, by the way. Your pension is a group annuity. That's what it is. People say, what's an annuity? They have them. They don't even know it. Social security is an annuity. It's paying you an income stream based on your age and how much money you've put away. Same with a group annuity that you may have from your company or your union will give you a pension. That pension is going to give you payout options. Those payout options are for you, for you and your spouse, for you and your kids. Let us look at them before you make that decision because that's an irrevocable decision. If you're about to retire and they give you a pension statement, call us. Because that's an irrevocable decision. We don't want you to make the wrong decision because that's a decision for the rest of your life. Once you make it, it's done. But we can show you options with higher payouts than they can offer you today and more flexible payouts than they can offer you today. Most pensions, group annuities, pensions from companies offer you maybe a pension just for you, maybe Maybe they'll give you a lesser amount for you and your spouse, but they offer you no benefit if something happens to you and your spouse. We can offer you benefits that can happen to you, your spouse, and go to your kids so that pension's not lost. Very important you reach out to us. We can give you better, higher payout options today 
than your group annuity slash pensions can are offering you. And that is only a function of the high interest rates we are today. Like I said in the beginning of the program, the high interest rates and inflation affect all of us, but it can affect us in a positive manner as well as a negative manner. We should be taking advantage of those higher rates, higher fixed rates, so that we can sleep at night and we know that we have an income and we can get one higher than ever to help us cover this inflationary period we're in. Now, people blame the United States for having such a high inflation. It is a worldwide matter. It's not just a U.S. matter. It is worldwide because of worldwide events. We're just keeping up with the Joneses, to be honest with you. There's so many things at play here, and there's so many things at play with the market that you and I have zero control over. So you think that you're this great investor in this and that, Things happen. They happen every day. They happen for the good. They happen for the bad. We have a hurricane. We have a climate. We have COVID. Things happen every day. You need to keep a watchful eye on not only your investments, your insurance, and everything that you do. And you need experts to help you. I'm not saying do it all yourself. Listen, if you're actively working and you had a job or you have a family and you're taking care of your mother, you're taking care of your sister, taking care of your wife, you're taking care of your children. Okay? We're doing a lot of stuff. You shouldn't have to be ultimately take care. Oh, I got to take care of my finance. I got to take care of my bills. I got to take care of my investments. I need professionals help. You can't be an expert in everything. We're your insurance experts, and we're also your team leaders if you have issues. So we like to be your quarterback if you don't have an investment advisor, if you don't have an attorney, if you don't have an accountant, or you do have them, but they're not working together, you should have a financial team working for you. If you don't, call us, and we'll help put one together for you. There's more things I give away to trusted professionals then I bring in because I want those professionals to help you. I'm in it for you. I'm in it for the client. And I believe in karma. Things come back to me that way. People say, what are you charging for this visit? I don't charge for visits, okay? My consultations are always complimentary. Where do I make money? If you buy an annuity from me, if you, if I, if you do an annuity with me or you buy life insurance from me, I get commissions it doesn't come out of your pocket. It comes directly from the insurance company to me. That's who compensates me, not you. Even all these great guys, oh, do you hear on TV, oh, we're Fisher Investments. We do better when you do better. Yeah, they're taking a fee out of what you gain every year. You're paying them. They're just, yeah, they do better if the market goes up because their fee gets higher. Okay. I don't do that, okay? The insurance world doesn't work that way. The investment world does. Uh, I'm not saying not to be in investments at all. I'm saying that you need to have a portion of your portfolio in something fixed, in something that you know is going to be there. You need to have a portion of your portfolio in guaranteed income. Those are called annuities. Guaranteed income, fixed investing, life insurance, protection, long-term care, protection. So you may have amassed a lot of assets, but one hurricane can wipe them out. One storm can wipe them out. Um, I was talking to the producer before the show and, and a friend of his just moved to Sarasota. And they said, oh, this is wonderful. And I have friends down in Florida also uh, on the East Coast. Luckily, they haven't gotten hit. I have a few colleagues on the West Coast in the Tampa area that I called uh, right before the storm, made sure that everybody was okay. Um, but what, a you know, their life has just changed. Okay, they have no internet. They have no phone. They have no TV. They have, I hope they have houses. Um, I hope they have something to come home to. Uh, I know people who fled to the North. Um, but everything was great last week. Last week. Everything's great. Oh, sunny Florida. Everything's wonderful. 
you know what? You get, you have to protect yourself. You have to have make sure you have property insurance. You have to make sure you have insurance on yourself. You know, there's a 70% chance. 70, if you had a 70% chance that your house is going to go on fire, you'd insure it, wouldn't you? Why don't you insure yourself? You have a 70% chance of needing assistance in long-term care. A 70% chance of needing assistance more than medical insurance is going to pay for. A 70% chance. And yet, most people don't insure for it. I don't understand it. Why aren't you taking care of yourselves? You have to take care of yourself. You have to reach out to us. You're listening to Neil Himmelstein with the Main Street Code for Financial Success. I hope you enjoyed our program today, and I really look forward to talking to you. Give me a call at 631-647-4694. I'm happy to go over anything with you that you'd like. 631-647-4694, the Main Street Code for Financial Success. You can reach me at themainstreetcode.com. Thanks. Have a great day, everybody. The views and opinions expressed on this program are not necessarily those of this station, JVC Broadcasting Management, or its sponsors.